In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the new PJSA, that's a Practical Junior Security Analyst Certification from TCM Security. I'll also tell you about their new free tier of training that they just launched, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to learn more about that. Hi, my name is Kendra Clark. I've been in the cybersecurity field for over six years now, and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. And I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. All the information in this video comes from the official TCM security website, so I'll make sure I'll link that in the video description. The PJSA is designed to test your skills in security operations and incident response. This isn't your typical certification as there are no multiple choice questions or flags to capture. Instead, you'll be working on your real world skills that you would use in a real world security operations center or SOC. You will have two days to do the technical assessment where you will investigate security incidents and cyber attacks, and then you'll get another two days to write a professional report. This means you'll not only improve your technical skills, but also your ability to communicate your findings. So who is the PJSA certification for? It is ideal for aspiring cybersecurity analysts, SOC analysts, or anyone who wants to learn more about incident response and security operations. It's a great way to build practical skills that translates directly to the real world. You do not need prior SOC experience to find success in the PJSA certification. However, basic knowledge of networking and operating systems does help. If you're looking to get in the world of security operations, this cert is definitely worth considering. To pass the PJSA certification, you need to apply your investigation skills to real world attacks. You'll look for indicators of compromise, you'll analyze what's happening, and you'll have to piece together the evidence. The focus here is on practical skills, not theory. After completing the technical portion of the exam, you have to write and submit a detailed report. This report must be well organized and contain all the steps you took to investigate the attack, as well as contain your recommended remediations. Plus, TCM Security gives you one free retake if you don't pass on your first try. To prepare for the PJSA, TCM Security offers a course called SOC 101. It's a comprehensive course with over 30 hours of training that covers everything from phishing analysis to network monitoring. You'll learn essential topics such as endpoint security, log analysis, and incident response. These are critical when working in SOC environments, so going through the SOC 101 course will give you the foundation you need for success. And the price point for the PJSA is $249 US dollars. Before we dive into my thoughts and opinions of the TCM Security PJSA, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. So that's basically everything that TCM Security is advertising for the PJSA certification. And now I want to give you my raw, unfiltered opinion, insights, and tips surrounding the certification and how it fits into the overall market. So in my opinion, there are only two certifications that the PJSA is in competition with. The first one being the Hack the Box CDSA, that's the Certified Defense and Security Analyst, and the OSDA, which is the OFSEC Defensive Analyst. Now, obviously, there are other hands-on certifications that require reports out there, such as the Hack the Box CPTS, the OSCP, the TCM Security PJPT. However, those are red team offensive security certifications, and in this video, we're only talking about blue team defense security certifications. So just in case you're confused, I'm only comparing blue team certifications with blue team certifications and red team offense security certifications are off the table in this discussion. And the reason why I compare the PJSA certification to only the OFSEC OSDA and the Hack the Box CDSA is because these three certifications are, from what I know, the only ones that are offering completely hands-on no multiple choice and professionally written report certifications. You can't compare these three certifications to certifications such as the CYSA Plus from CompTIA or the Cisco CyberOps Associate. If you want to learn more about the Cisco CyberOps Associate, you can check out my video. But overall, those two certifications aren't hands-on and technical at all and are purely theory and knowledge based and are all 100% multiple choice certifications, which is in my opinion, not a good thing. It's a good thing to maybe get started, but overall you want to get a hands-on certification. And that's why the PJSA is a good option to consider for your career. Both the OFSEC OSDA and the Hack the Box CDSA are just over one year old. And the PJSA is about a week old at this point at the time of this recording. So overall, in the grand scheme of things, all three of these certifications are pretty new still. And why is that important? That is important because longevity is a key factor 
in choosing a certification. So typically speaking, the older the certification, the more reputation it has. And you'll see a lot of job postings out there that have old certifications and they don't have the newer certifications listed on their job boards yet because a lot of hiring managers and recruiters are kind of out of touch with the times, unfortunately, and they don't put these new certifications on their job postings, which means all three of these certifications are on a even playing field and you can't pick one over the other based off a of reputation because honestly, none of them have a reputation yet. Now the certification companies do have a reputation. Obviously Offsec has been in the game for a very long time. Hack the Box is pretty new in the game and also TCM Security is also pretty new in the game. However, uh, I don't think you're gonna see a whole lot of OSDA on job boards and job postings. You're still gonna see, you know, CYSA plus, CISSP, Cisco Cyber Ops maybe, that one's not even really on that many. But overall, uh, these three certifications aren't gonna show up on job boards and postings that much. So you might be wondering why would I even get one of these certifications because the point of a certification is to land interview and obviously the interview is what you have to go through to land a job. So even though these three certifications won't help you land your first interview, these certifications will definitely come in clutch during your technical interview, which might be your second or third interview in the hiring process. And not only will it help you during the technical interview, it will help you on the job, which is the most important thing. You don't want to get into the job and not know what you're doing. You want to be an all-star contributing team player on day one. And I think one of these three certifications would do that. Now comparing all three of these certifications, I will say they all probably cover very similar things. Their teaching styles are definitely completely different. For example, Hack the Box Academy, which is the training for the Hack the Box CDSA, doesn't have any videos. It's all reading, which is kind of annoying for some people, but if you prefer reading, then it might be a learning style that you actually like. Offsec is a uh, ruthless teacher. They don't really give you all the tools uh, to succeed in my opinion. They make you uh, figure it out for yourself. They have the whole try harder mantra, which is really good and sometimes, but also at times it's, it's really annoying. So if you're the type of person who needs to be spoon fed the information or handheld through a course, uh, I would say Offsec is probably off the table for you. And if you're someone who has to have video instruction, then I would say Hack the Box Academy isn't for you. That's where TCM security comes into play because they actually teach you everything you need to know to succeed from my understanding. Now keep in mind, I don't have any TCM security certifications. However, I did just enroll into a TCM security course actually last night and I've actually done about 20% of a course. So far I'm really liking it, but I don't really have uh, a full opinion on uh, TCM security certifications just yet because I'm still working on one and you guys will know whenever I get that. TCM security from what I'm hearing from others and from my personal experience, I have uh, seen the training from TCM security and I've also done Hide the Box Academy and OPSEC and I can confidently say that TCM security probably has the best training out there right now. It seems to be uh, very real world applicable and they don't uh, leave it a rot like Offsec does and they have videos unlike Hack the Box Academy. So it, overall, just from that point alone, it seems like it's a deal worth getting. Another thing you have to take into consideration when choosing a certification and training is the price tag. We already talked about the TCM PJSA being $249. Compare that to a one-year Hack the Box Academy subscription, which is, in my opinion, the best option to becoming CDSA certified. That costs $490. And then you can compare that to the Offsec Learn One subscription, which is a subscription that you have to purchase in order to become OSTA certified. That costs $2,599. And obviously, that is a very, very steep price tag. And TCM Security PGSA is a fraction of the cost of these other two certifications, which makes it a very lucrative option for most people. Now keep in mind that TCM Security PGSA is a junior level certification. I wouldn't consider the Offsec OSDA or the Hack the Box CDSA junior level. I do think those two certifications will be marginally more difficult and maybe even cover more advanced techniques than the PJSA, but if you are just getting started, I think the PJSA is the route to go. If you already have experience, you probably might want to skip the PJSA and go straight for 
the OSDA or the CDSA. Now I'm just speculating here, but I do think that TCM Security will come out with a non-junior version of the Security Analyst Certification. If you just look at their lineup, they have the Junior Web App Tester Certification, they have a regular Web App Tester Certification, they have a Junior Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification, and then they have a non-junior Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification. So it seems like they do a junior and a non-junior certification for their stable cert certifications. So we will see what happens. But overall, if I think yes, they'd come out with a non-junior one, uh, assuming that this is uh, you know in demand and it sells well. All information about TCM Security's free courses comes from their website. I'll also link that in the video description. TCM Security just announced that they are offering over 25 hours of free courses. And best of all, it is completely free, no credit card required. This is perfect for anyone who is looking to get into IT or cybersecurity. The free tier currently offers four courses, Practical Help Desk, Programming 100 with Python, Linux 100, and Soft Skills for the Job Market. These courses are designed to help build your foundational skills in IT and cybersecurity. Plus, there will be more courses added before the end of 2024. You can sign up with just an email and there's no time to access the content, which makes this a huge opportunity if you're looking to start and grow your career. So definitely check it out if you're curious about learning. So there you have it. That is everything you need to know about the TCM Security, PJSA, and the free tier in the TCM Academy. If you want to learn more about other certifications, you have to check out this playlist right here. I already have a handful of videos talking about various certifications in the market, and I'm constantly adding to this playlist every single month. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and definitely check out this playlist if you want to learn more about the certifications and training to help you start and grow your cybersecurity career today.